Hello everybody, my name is Gabriel Gaming 5000 k Welcome back to more Let's Play Vampire Part 4. Alright. Last time we helped... We helped Darius meet, and we helped Dorothy. But now Dorothy has been charmed and she's now missing. And there's one thing I gotta tell you. If I put... If I charm her, she's, she's gonna be missing and later become a skull. Alright, and there seems to be the problem. Is there, is that a bug where I have to report to Lady Ashbury? Is this a glitch or something? And I thought last summer's epidemic was difficult. Yeah. No, of course not. Oh! <laughs> I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, <laughs> Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Let's see, right? You gotta pick your poisons, guys. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. The error of her so ways. Who was it? My lady, the blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so, as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. Got 50 if you shillings. Have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation. I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Okay. Let's ask her about how many vampires there were in London. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Yeah. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember... Even the shark smiles before he bites. What's that the term mean? Like the shark from smile from when he bites. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. And it's us who attack me. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel to let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost um. never accidental. Okay, let's go back. Ask what happened to I've been London. away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. Uh, the Spanish flu caused this? The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. What is it? I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. 
There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Mm. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain. More the Prewin guards the once were the ones that Jonathan was talking about. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Alright. That's it. Let's, let's ask about ladyship. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Yep. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long eternal time. Eternal youth. That would be cool if I had that. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Oh, you know, there's something that were, tells me. There's something t tells me yeah, that I... Oh, no, 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 no. You know what that reminds me of? You know that eternal youth part reminds me of Dragon Ball Z. When Lord, Lord Slug wished for eternal youth. And King Piccolo from Dragon Ball had eternal youth. Alright. Let's ask her about Swansea. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. Wow. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. No, she doesn't. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. What type of vampire is a scowl? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Oh. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No. no. Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. 
I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. She's not. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. He's an Ekon. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We She's are an Ekon as well. To what man refers to as vampires. Ekons Forget are newborn vampires. You know us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Wow. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Analyze Ravon Vasily's blood. Be here. But for now, let's check on the citizens menu, shall we? This time, Gwyneth Branigan sick from fatigue. Oswald, headache. Thomas, fatigue. Dr. Ackroyd, fatigue. 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 Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fatigues. Oh my good gravy. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Let's see here. Should probably trade. I'd like to... Wise choice, Doctor Reed. Let's see here. Milton's shotgun is worth 350, which is a lot of shillings. Let's talk to him one more time. Good evening. Good evening. Do you need any medical help? I'm afraid... Okay, he does. Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections, Milton. There's no shame in being ill while you're in a hospital. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't fall sick often. But thanks, anyway. You're welcome. Goodbye, Milton. You get 25 XP for curing patients. Let's see here. Shall I check one last time? Of course. Why is everybody getting so sick all of a sudden? I'm going to check how many I got left. Let's see here. No? Let's see here. I only got one, one more. Darn. Let's see here. Let's count. One. Two, three, four, five. It appears that we need five or six. If, if all the patients die from the disease, something bad will happen. That's no good, guys. Not good at all. Um, 
and okay, that's good. I'll use this one. But for now, I probably need to cure those folks. Gwyneth Brannigan has is sick. Good evening. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, nurse? I will be fine. As soon as I can get some sleep. Yeah. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Yeah, not getting enough sleep can ruin your Goodbye, day and you nurse. can get sick. Hey, we just cured ten folks. Dr. Ackroyd, I'm gonna cure you, buddy. I'm quite busy. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Yeah, I'll give it to you, buddy. Then you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. No, you're right. Thank you for your time. What else? One. I will not let you down, my boy. Harvey. Hey, buddy. Good evening. Good evening. Do Is there anything else that's bothering you? Can I help in any way? Really? Why has no one else asked me that since I got here? I thought I was in a hospital. Unfortunately, you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. Goodbye for now. I will not let you down, my boy. Uh, he's talking about his son. Ma'am. Good evening. Mrs. Goswick. Do you know you're the only one who's asked me this? No. I don't feel well, actually. Give her the medicine. Despite what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this will help you recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Of course not. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Totally awesome. Really good. Rakesh is is sick. Good evening. Do you need medical? Well, the proximity of the dead is not the most healthy company, even if the quiet can be appreciated. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Chidana. None of us are immune to this disease, and that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Dr. Reed. I fear death, Rakesh. Let's straight for now. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's... Good decision. It's locked. It's, it is locked, man. I'm sorry you ended up on my plane and cold medical bench, sir. I understand you must be very angry. Okay, let's see. Who else do I have to cure? Ah! Huh. Mr. Elward! I cannot believe I missed one hint. I seriously need to find that bro. Good evening. Evening. Soldier, do you need... A Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. You're not dead. As long as you remain here, 
I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Damn. The pain. Okay. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I got one more item. Let's see here. Da -da -da. I still got four. That's good. Totally good. We got Razvan blood sample. Well, at any rate, let's craft it. So let me ask you a question. Who is your favorite voice actor in Vampire? I would say it's Anthony Howell because he is awesome. What we get is Light Stamina Serum. Increase the stamina regeneration rate by 50% for 15 seconds. Cool. All cool. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Yeah. Chapter 3. Family History. Here we go. Grand Chapter 3 for now, guys. And causes and effects. Tell Dr. Swansea about Razvan Vasil's blood. Let's talk to him. Tell Swansea about Razvan's blood. He's over there. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak. But I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu. It's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Let's see here. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not Rabies. Here, but That's one of the diseases you get from wild animals. If we animals. don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in I totally agree. <laughs> Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but... My favorite line for this game. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. What's the bad news? Yes. I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel oh. Cemetery. Your mother published She's the obituary in... this morning. Whitechapel Cemetery. Cemetery. I'm sorry, Jonathan. 
Please accept my condolences. Wow. We gotta attend Mary's funeral. If Jonathan hadn't drank the blood out of Mary, none of this would have ever happened. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. What's this over there? Event. Let's go to that event first. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Yeah, you better find the truth, Jonathan. You better, bro. Are there any enemies over there? Especially these pre one punks. All right. Hey there, Albert. <laughs> I hear rats. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. I know. What else? Come on. I gotta stay out of trouble, that's for sure. Yay, the door's unlocked. Booyah. Okay. Alright. Let's go inside. Oh, we got some blinker skulls. New enemies. Those guys are gonna be a big pain in the butt. God, this place is crawling with skulls. I advise you to be careful, Jonathan. Roar all you want, freak. I'm taking you down. Ouch. Take that, and this, there's a blinker skull. This one is going to be a big pain in the butt. I already said that one. Oh my god, this guy can use shadow teleportation? You Albert Wesker? Ow! Yeah, every time a skull bites Jonathan, he loses maximum health. Oh 
Oh my god. Dorothy has been turned into a skull. Quite literally. Dorothy Crane, she's at a level 24. She's at a level 24. And yes, she could take me on easily. Whoa, the poison gas really did a number on me. Yeah, yeah, I get kicked, I get knocked down easily. When I fight against a level 24 Dorothy, who's been evolved into a skull, I can't fight her right now, so. How am I going to do that? Maybe if I, I could probably try ultimate moves. So countering does not help. She will then poison me and slowly drain my health down. I'd say we try it one more time, shall we? Yeah. Poor Dorothea. You hadn't use charm on her none of this would have ever happened Jonathan we'll deal with some skulls over here Enough! Alright, punk. You're dead. Let's see. Oh, come on, really? I'm gonna be totally toast. For the love of God, get off me! No, 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 no! Get it off me, you son of a gun! What the deal? Alright. Get some more blood. Really? Okay. Glad we got 20 XP. <sighs> I 
Let's see here. Blood. The reason why you can't. Yes! Yeah, she breaks free. Oh my gosh, she throws up. Watch out for the green gas. Watch out for the green gas, Jonathan. It's dangerous. She's got plenty of health, that's for sure. Making me look bad, Dorothea. Man, I'm literally out of blood. No, she can block really easily. Whoa, she really did a number on me. You won't make a monkey out of me. Why vomit? Okay, that work. He's countering would help. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, good gravy. Come on. Yes, do stay away from that gas. Oh, I'm about to go, go out with a bang. Yeah, she breaks free. Ouch. Ooh, that barely hurts. Whoa. Ha. Oh, no, you don't. Uh oh. Gotta watch her pattern. That's your chance, Jonathan. Oh, she's almost there. Okay. She's gonna stop blocking her. Oh my god! Oh my god. Wow. I failed. I literally failed. <laughs> Anyway, I'll I'll probably do it later. Whatever. I'll do it later. <sighs> I mean, what is the point? I think I changed my mind. I'm going to try it probably the last one last time. I almost got her.
Oh wow, they start me back here. Stop loading. Why am I going that when way? Science fails you. This elixir will give you faith again. Elixir. Anyway. I'll take you punks on one on one. Do you like this? Knock it off. Whoa. Yeah, I don't have to laugh. There was a total of four skulls. Why are you a magician? That hurts. How are you going to do the trick? Stupid rogue skulls. You literally got in my last turn. Gotcha, huh? Okay. I'll probably beat Dorothy. Stop. Make sure you're stunner this time. Why is she Why is she gagging? Oh my god. All right. That's the way you want it. Gotcha. Too late. <laughs> oh my god. This is annoying. things can get any worse.
We're almost there. Booyah! She exploded. <laughs> A skull. There's another skull. We should have showed her, didn't we? That hurt. I'm getting better at this. I let my frames go down. That's it. You're going down. Gotcha! Phew! Man. You now have the key. What's in there? Treatment for headache. Medical voucher. That's good to know. We got codeine and potassium permaganti. Ergotamine. Opium. Beautiful flower. All right. We showed Skull Dorothy who's boss. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough cordial. I won't end up another drunk horse or Let's see here. Probably have to go over there. But for now. We'll craft this thing. <sighs> I seriously need to make craft something. The headache. Migraine and what else? Anemia. What's anemia exactly? Alright, time to craft. We need to get recipes unknown, but we need to find the recipe for headache, migraine, and neuralgia. Anyway, I should probably upgrade this. All we need is tiny common handle parts, that's for sure.
Okay. Let's see here. Dorothy? Totally dead. Migraine equals bad. Let's see here, map. I'll have to go talk to Dr. Swansea. Hold on before we do that. Actually, I gotta retrieve Barrett Lewis's box. Right. Should I check my map one last time? Yeah. Ah, it's fine. It's one of them. We're gonna deal with Freewin punks. He's got poison gas. Oh my god, those poison gas! That's mustard gas! Why did you call me? Got guts, man. Gotcha. Let's see what's in there. Probably nothing. Got a large beast that we're going to deal with. Reminds me of Wild Nut from Teen Titans. Or Wild Beast. Whoa. He's just fighting me. Totally annoying. I got a counter. Stop that! Enough! What the heck is that thing? Skulls? Let's see here. Where's Barrett's box? These are where the skulls were. level as us. Probably need more blood. Yep. Haha. -ha. It's still in the factory.
I'll deal with you, buddy. That way I can farm ex XP. the boxes? No, that's not it. No, seriously, that ain't it. Nope. Mm. Oh, we got an axe. Used hatchet. More shillings. If I could find that box, where exactly could it be? Alright. I'd say it's probably up there. This could be the box Lewis thought he lost. Huh. There's a letter inside. Of course! It was on the third floor. Oh my god, another beast! You stop that. Those annoying beasts don't quit. Oh, you dodged it. Come on. Boom. Got some watery rich blood sample. He's done like dinner, guys. Now then, where exactly can I get out of here? There we go. Now let's... Now then. Still gotta retrieve, retrieve that box. Come on, is this supposed to be some idea of a joke or something? Let me check one last time. Best items, small box. And there's a letter. A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife, addressed to Barrett Lewis. Oh, I get Who it. Should I give it to? I wonder. You gotta go and give the box a letter to Barrett and Joe Peterson. Oh, better pick your poison, guys. You can either give it to Joe or you give it to Barrett. Which do you choose? I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You... Are they rivals? You again. I'll give that to him. I think the documents in this box could be of some interest to you. Really? Where'd you get if it? I give I this to it him. In an abandoned building nearby. Do I lose a hint? I thought you might want to keep these letters. Let me see. Ah, oh, letters about my boy. Thank you, sir. You do not appear surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's my son, I'm his father, and that's all there is to know, don't you think? Yes, 
I suppose you're right. Here's a little something for your trouble. And to remind you to keep your mouth shut about all this. You get 25 shillings. Goodbye, Mr. Booyah! Investigation is totally done. Yeah! Yeah! I should probably go talk to Dr. Swansea right now. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Quit lagging. XP. Come on, load. <laughs> load, please, if it is. A freeling brawler? A ferocious skull. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. Dude. Yeah, when he roars. What are you doing? Ow! He managed to take half of my health. Mind, bud. You're going out with a bang, man. Boot Boys notes. Concerning the recruitment of new boys in Whitechapel, I think I found one. Alby. He's as stupid as a stool, though, but tough. I asked him to prove me he could get some drugs for the black market and delivered right quickly and nicely. Next time we meet, I'll tell him you accepted it as a wet boot boy, and he must now meet the bosses to get his order. I'm sure Albert would like to know he's been accepted by the wet boot boys. Okay. Gotta give this to Albert. Burn him, boys! Oh, you pyromania punk! Won't do you any good. Standing in my way will do you no good at all. Yeah, I can tell. Quit shooting me. Some blood.
you finished. Ah, huh, no more enemies here. They just disappeared. <laughs> All right. You can either give it to Albert or Benjamin. Better pick your poisons, all right? Locked. We're still in Whitechapel again. We gotta go find Albert and his dad. Come on, Albert. There he is. I won't end up another drunk cop. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right. Now piss off. <laughs> I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Let's see. Better pick your choices. This note was found on a dead man. Out. I choose this one. If that doesn't change your mind, then you must be ready to face the risks. You're all fancy words. None of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Never heard of her. It's all done. All done. Goodbye, young man. Investigations completed, folks. We're gonna go back and see Dr. Swansea. But for now, remove it. New dialogue available if you talk to Dr. Swansea. You gotta tell her the new tell him the news about Dorothy. Doctor Swansea, sir. Edgar. I need to talk to you, Edgar. Please do so. Nurse Crane will not be returning to Pembroke Hospital. Oh, really? Did something happen? She seems such a very capable woman. Let's just say we had a difference of opinion, and I had to ask her to leave. Permanently. I believe you. No. But as administrator you killed of this facility, her I would like to be consulted skull. on such matters in the future. 
So you manage a hospital financed by a vampire? Yes. Pembroke was founded by Lady Ashbury. She's also our largest donor. A convenient yet expensive way to have a fresh supply of blood on hand, day and night, don't you think? All vampires drink blood by nature. Me, I praise the lady's exemplary moral fiber. If I may inquire, how did you meet her? Well, Jonathan, she sought me out and offered me the position. It's been a very profitable partnership for both parties. Do you know anything about the vampire hunters in the East End? Without a doubt, it's the guard of Prewen. Zealots to the last man. Where do they come from? Well, once they shared the Brotherhood's ideology on non-intervention. But they concluded vampires were a scourge. They're definitely well organized and equipped. They're extremely dangerous and not to be trifled with. To them, you're a feral beast, and I, your accomplice. We'll talk later. Yeah, we'll talk later. At any rate, gotta reach the Stone Bridge Cemetery. But first, we need to rest. No, 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 you're going the wrong way, Jonathan. That's a very good thing, I got a lot of XP. 2,028. Okay, let's, let's pick, shall we? More bullets, three serums. What did I could do? Why not cloth? Cool. But for now, it's 28. The following night? Now they're getting healthy. Let's see who else. Still stable. <gasps> oh my god, they're getting sick. Going down to critical. Your actions have been impacted by the economy. The prices and stock of the merchants in this district may have changed. Fatigue. 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 Neuralgia. And cold. Uh-oh. Still stable. This is getting out of control and annoying. Let's see how many do I have right now, shall we? Medicine. We got a headache, cold. I got cold and fatigue. More fatigue, nice. I'll have to get some more fatigue. Right about now, I'm going to check one last time. Let's see here. Pippa Hawkins has a cold. Too cold? Oh my god. Neuralgia? Where could... 
open. We just saved Oswald's life. We gotta give her... Oh my god, we gotta give her the medicine. We literally do. Cool. Yay. Gotta heal Pippa. Gotta heal her. We've got to heal her. Where is she? Oh my god. Pippa really does have a cold. Where is she? In there. Good evening. Good evening. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Not under my watch, nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Goodbye for now. But, got some investigations to do. Guess there's no holding back for now. Let's do the missing ingredient. Gotta reach the pharmacy. To do this, all we have to do is gotta be at a level 16 or level 14. Hey Clay. Oh, Oswald's got a bit of a headache. I should totally heal that dude. Newton, man. Hello, I'm eternally gr Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately, Got that fear in London now. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You are wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Yep. You are always welcome at the Pembroke Hospital. As a former officer, I'll be honored to welcome a fellow veteran. I'm not giving up on bringing Oswald back to the hospital. I just need to convince him that he needs some help. Perhaps he needs to reach that decision by himself. Could you speak to him? He doesn't usually listen to doctors, but perhaps because you've been through it, you can talk him round. Why do you stay here now that Mr. Thatcher's back? It's complicated. Since the war, Oswald's been really nervous with the idea of entering any hospital. And me, I've got my own issues. Can you speak about them? Rats, sir. Even seeing one, they turn me. Just want to run. It's that fear that stopped me from going after Oswald when he left. What can you tell me about the war, Mr. Blight? If you want to speak about it, of course. War was... Well, you know, sir. The stench of death everywhere. Your mates lying bleeding in the mud. Just praying to make it through and get home. Bloody nightmare. Did you know Oswald Thatcher before the war? No. We met in the battlefield. I think we were in the same boat to France. We've stuck together ever since. I fought in France, too. I served as a field surgeon. But it was not uncommon to repel an assault, especially at night. Yeah. The first time I was wounded, 
I had to protect the infirmary from hostiles. Twice. What caused your phobia of rats, Newton? It happened last year following an artillery attack. I was trapped for two days in a hole under two dead soldiers. You know that phobia of rats thing reminds me no of rats. General Blue yeah. from Dragsville. Me as soon as I when he was about to finish Goku off, a no rat just is. popped up and scared fingers, the daylights out of him. Lips. I couldn't move. I couldn't call for help. I see. No, you don't. You have no idea what it is to wake up buried under bodies. Fucking vermin eating your flesh. <laughs> Oswald, he found me and saved me. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Okay, I'll talk to her. Newton. Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Yes, this neighborhood Oswald makes... Thatcher. Mr. Thatcher, do you have a job? No. Since I came back he doesn't from the have war, a job. I spent most of my time and energy just trying to forget. I understand what you mean. I was a soldier too. No, nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that sewer? What happened? I went by the canal after an argument with a friend. Got chased by these fucking wankers and had to barricade <laughs> myself in despite my claustrophobia. Tell me about your claustrophobia. Has anyone given you an official diagnosis? God, that's what the bloody doctor said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Why did you run? You ain't available. What was the reason for your argument? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. But I can't stand being closed in. It makes me feel like I'm suffocating. Oswald, why did you not go to the Pembroke Hospital to seek medical help? I don't trust doctors. All they care about was their careers and processes. I won't be locked in any room again by anyone. Your fear of being trapped is not going to go away by itself. You need professional help. I've seen enough butchers in white coats to last a lifetime. Hospitals reek of chemicals and death. What I need is fresh air. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. He has a headache. I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. All right. Sir, step away! Look at it. Oh, we got a bunch of free wind dudes. Where'd you come from? Oh, I hate these brawlers. Stop loading. I wouldn't count do that if I was you. Another victory. Boom! Exploded. You know that part reminded me of one of my favorite characters. You watch yourself. Call me Leech one more time. Call me Leech. See what happens. Alright, you're going down. Call me a Leech. I'm not a Leech, I'm a vampire. An Econ. I'm kissing him. Yay. Let's see. Let's see. 
if I can check my map. We'll probably head to the docks. Got graveyards over there. Best leech fight! Watch out! Best you leave, probably. I know. I hate the fire dudes. That'll teach you. It's HG Griffin. He's at a level 16. And some dazzled skulls. These guys can be a bit of a pain and annoyance. Get off me, you annoying punk. Go away! Stupid shadows. Find the real HG. All right, that's my chance. Should at least counter that guy. Once again, I'm not going to make the second mistake. Big mistake, buddy. Whoops. Uh-oh. I'm so dead. Uh oh. Ha. Now we gotta search for Strickland's order. Dr. Strickland's list. Ordered by Dr. Thoreau Strickland, Pembroke Hospital. This is substances and ingredients. Lacmaria papaveris. Sodium hydrofoli potassium promaganti. Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. Nope. Definitely not a good move. Glad you did the right thing, Jonathan. Come on, please load. Stop. Stop stopping. Okay. All right. Definitely got to head down there. Oh, there you are, Oswald. Why does it have to load? Well, seriously, why am I getting so many loading screens all the time? It doesn't make any freaking sense. Enough with the loading screen!
I'm quite busy, right? Thank you for your time. All right. Where are you? Dr. Strickland. My sweet girl. Good evening, Doc. And good evening. I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate, they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Yep. I want to know about these secret tests you run and if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague, but only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. I think that's it for now. Goodbye. God, I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Got up, Reims. An Six units of will deliver more various transfer to your medical desk. <sighs> Don't have to sprint. Nothing else. I think we should go. Gather the ingredients and form the medication. Strickland's project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. Oh, you better pick your poisons, like I said. You gotta bring the medications to Dr. Thorough. Let's do Thorough for now. It's either you give it to Thoreau or give it to Dr. Ackroyd. I'd rather Thoreau. Dr. Ackroyd. Dr. Strickling. Good evening. And good evening. I have managed to improve the mixture by diluting it. Have you ever heard of Sir Joseph Francis Olive or the placebo effect? No, I don't think so. Why? A placebo is a substance or procedure that has no actual physical effect. You made a placebo of my project. 
Why? Research has established that a placebo, as long as the subject believes in the effect, can provoke a positive physiological reaction. Really? That's fascinating. And you want me to, what, administer the placebo and see what occurs? Something like that, yes. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but I trust you, Dr. Reed. Please take the key to my cabinet and put this placebo there for future use. All right. Goodbye, Doctor. A key. Put the medication in the doctor's office. He's on the second floor. You can't go up there. Door's been unlocked. At least Strickland can't kill anyone with this formula. No. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Letter to Dr. Swansea. New hint for D Nurse Brannigan. Cool. This is cool. Oh, oh, whoops. It's locked, all right. Yeah, I didn't know it was locked. Let's talk to Nurse Brannigan for now. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening. According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is... I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, Nurse. Yes, Nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. Have you heard of Elizabeth Blackwell? She was the first woman listed on the UK medical register. Change is slow, but it will come. I choose you will that. always have my support. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. True. Goodbye, now. Goodbye. So then. Gotta follow this trail. Oh my god, fuck off Robux, critical. So that's why chapel. guards over there. What's 
in there. Items. Looks like we're taking a shortcut. Ah, uh, no, we're not. I cannot enter. That door is totally locked from the other side. So... Check on the citizens. Fatigue, 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 neuralgia. Go back home, idiot. Idiot. Show you who's an idiot. Oi, oh. you listening? All right. I'm out of here. I have this thirst for blood. Why do you keep loading? Gotta help those citizens. <laughs> Albert's healed. Neuralgia. Darius. They both. You again? Can I offer you my medicine? Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I saw her wandering the streets. Yesterday, I think. She didn't recognize me. People say she's lost it. It's a sad story.
Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. What you may think. Our house is small, but it's an awesome hat, Joe. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Whoa. Goodbye. Fancy buying something, sir? You never... Right. You never... I'd rather be rich and sick than the contrary. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please, take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? <laughs> don't take it personally, but charity usually comes at a price. Human nature being what it is. You had an affair with Joe's wife, didn't you? Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I love. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. Do you mean... You're Harry's father. No one will ever know for sure. And it's better that way. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile. Not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow up here. What troubles him exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, Almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a... Decent boxer, good one even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Yeah. Without making excuses for him, it's safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against a wet boot boy. Do you have any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It appears those who dare to get health care from that bitch are never seen again. Something fishy going on there, for sure. Yeah. Goodbye for now. Let's see, who else? Can I cure Father Whittaker and Richard? Seriously, where's Richard? Oh, we got skulls in here. Oh my god. 
I'm about to die. We're gonna die! Stop that! God. Now on, I won't lose. Not to you. Stop it. Get off me. They're finished now. Now where were we? Ah oh, yes. Come on. Just a moment. Good evening. It's far. Don't you fear getting sick yourself? Faith, give me all I need, my son. If I must fall, then so be it. No doubt your faith will prevail, but let me give you some extra protection against the devil's work. Medicine. Blessed be your generosity, my son. Yeah. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. I have heard enough. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, that's good. There you are, Richard. Got the same cold good again. Evening, and good evening to Do you need medical attention? It may be wise. I understand your appetite. The nutrition of my mind is. I'll leave you alone, sir. Good. Let's see here. Done. No, no. I'll do the two investigations later. That's fine. Go away. That's a level 15. Get off. Gotcha. Stop burning me. Load. Unless you lower their health, they can explode into, into pieces. Why load? Crush the leech for Who are you calling leech, man? That's just gonna hurt you more than me. I'm glad I got destroyed. on his arm. Silver. Now then. We're in the cemetery. We're heading to the cemetery, guys. That's our new hideout. Nine. 
gay. Let's see here. Yeah, you can say that again. Strange formula. Oh, we got some formula, guys. Totally awesome. Totally. More shillings. Oh. Unknown dude. Who is that? These cost 15 of them. Stonebridge Cemetery. Who in the world is that guy? Skulls. These guys are at a level 16. I think that's the endangered citizen. These punks. Those desert skulls. Don't they know where to stop? Don't do that. Stop wasting blood, Jonathan. Ouch. Their claws are made out of silver. Another skulls? Ouch. gonna be hurting you more than it does, buddy. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. Yes, my is level three is required. All right, I shan't insist. Goodbye for now. Oh. It appears that you need a level three. 
His name's Mason. Is he sick? Migraine. He has a migraine. More shillings. I'm gonna ask him one last time. Good evening, sir. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. All right. All right. You gotta be at a level three. He's a bit of a grump. Mother, why have you come here? This is proving far worse than I imagined. Avery, I leave you to care for my mother. I'm in no state to comfort her. No. Someone's in trouble. I could probably go in there. Gotta go to the other side. Cornered. Bam. I have this thirst for blood. Yeah. I think I'm better off going from the other side. Gotta get out of here.
go away. Alright, fine. If it's a fight you want, so be it. this right now. Oh, never mind. I, I do. Leave me alone. Stop it. Away from me, you evil skulls. Not enough. Where was his claws? Dodged it. Still have to head to the other side. If I reach the stone bridge, center, I'll probably stop.
to raise your mesmerized level. Where are we? Seems like we're gonna deal with these Freewin punks. Keep blasting me. Let's see you like this one. I uh, guess not. You survived. They're done like dinner. Guess I should take that off for now. Are you dead? Who said that? Nice. It's locked. Yep. Let's look in there. It's itching. Ears itching in my head, it just that scratching wall this is loading. We're in the sewers again. Blink your skulls. Oh, one of them resisted. That freaking hurt. Go 
you're going down, punk. This is like an underground maze. Enough. Extermination of the rodents. They're just collectibles. That's it. Now, can we please get the heck out of here? here. Oh. I'll have to go to the other side right now. This is seriously like a maze. Okay, made it out of the sewers. Yay. There we go. Seriously, where, where are we? See how you punks like it. Oh my god. 
I deal with this guy. I have this thirst for blood. Let me get my butt kicked. See if we can upgrade one of our other stakes. We need the tiny colored part. I cannot enter. Doors locked from the other side, so that's why we. And there's a dock out there. What's the point? Quest? Warner's house. Warner's house is over there by the hospital. Once again, we're out of here. The skull needs to shut up. Ouch! Not a good move. I dodged it. Boom! My god, that's a whole lot of blood. Kind of remind me of Jean from Darker Than Black when he used that move on the other guy. This has gone on long enough. Don't ever irritate me again. That was a close shave. graveyard for now. Blink. We're gonna fight off annoying skulls. Let's 
destroying two stones? Leave me alone! Where'd you come from, you stupid blinking skulls? Go away! Where did you come from? Resisted? I didn't even do that. Gotta get it together. Not that. The boom. Weapons of the night. Get away from me. Oh man. Enough, man. Stop it, man. Oh my god, another. This one. Kaboom. He's done like dinner. The dazzled skulls are my problem. Save her. I'm coming. Ma'am, I'm on my way. Leave them and leave her alone. You are so gonna suffer the consequences, you stupid skulls. Knock it off. Calm down. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> you okay, ma'am? Are you all right, miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. Their skulls. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Xiao Thank Shen. you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Shouldn't you go back home, where you'll be safe? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. Right. Does she have a disease now? No, of course not. That's great. That's totally great. Are 
I got some shotgun shells. Come on. At any rate, we're gonna have to place that marker right here. That way it would help. Since I can't open. reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this. I know. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend the most merciful Father. Whoa. The soul of our sister departed, Wag. and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes That's to ashes, mother. dust to dust. And there's the butt. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. Oh. <sighs> Jonathan's over here. Oh, Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. I agree. Jonathan. There is nothing you can do but accept it. Hey, Lady Ashbury. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without <sighs> so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing... To warn me. In yourself, you too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. 
Of course. She's right. I've stared upon this world for centuries. And time has taught me to Rolling deal skulls. with guilt. If not erase it. What should I do then? Yes. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Okay, we're going to reach St. Mary Church in the next video, but for now, I'm ending the stream. I'm tired right now. And ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gabriel Gaming 5000 k I'll see you in the next video. Until then, see you then, guys.